Hey there, everyone. So we're back again with another really, really cool set. This one is by Mozart. And I have had so many of you ask me if I've ever painted with this set before because it is an insanely cheap price. I mean, I think you can get these for $25 or less. And um, they're just like uh, Kuretake. These are Japanese watercolors, even though if you look at the packaging, Mozart's made in China and, um, but really it's neither here nor there because it's, you know, it's not professional grade watercolor, but I have to tell you that they claim to be light fast. I've never had any paintings or anything fade on this. They're non-toxic, which is really good for children and beginners. Um, I'm a big fan of Schmincke, right? And Sennelier, as you guys know, I use Daniel Smith. I use all of the, the major, uh, watercolor paints, but these are highly pigmented and they're a really great set. Plus they come in this awesome tin. So as far as like a watercolor set that you can grow with from start to finish, I think this is a great way to get started. Um, White Knights is also a great way to get started, but they don't come in a nifty pan and you can't get them for $25. So this set, you're going to like this. This is kind of cool. It has this little swatch card. I don't know why it's not in white. I have no idea, but it's there. We're going to, we're going to swatch that here and here. Um, the company says these are highly pigmented and light fast. It doesn't say anything about the testing or, you know, if they can prove it or not, but this is a really great quality set and they last a very, very long time. They're packaged really well. And I can't even imagine not recommending this set. I mean, look at how well they're done and you get these really nice full pans that you can actually, they're numbered. You can take them out. You can put them into other cute little sets, you know, like I have, um, you know, you can just, you can just do so much with this. <laughs> I mean, even the pan is going to last you forever because literally this tin is a great quality tin and you can, you could like kind of travel with it. It's not that heavy, but I can't even imagine, like I keep these boxes filled with my watercolors in my studio. This would even make a great studio palette, you know, where you could keep this here because it's got this great like insert with the pans and then fill this with pans too and now you have like access to totally like your whole watercolor palette so let's go ahead and swatch these so that you can see how interesting these are as far as colors and we'll line them up against some of my color sheets of the other watercolor companies like Schmincke, Sennelier, Mission Gold, White Knights which I don't Oh yeah, I have to tell you about the gold too. That's right. So I use these foils really, really often. They actually, for I think it's like $10, you can buy really big pans of the fluorescence and the metallics, as well as the gold set. The gold set's great to buy. It's amazing. It's very opaque. You can add gold to pretty much any project really easily you can and it just it's just there it just stays and it stays beautiful you know i've added this actually to professional projects and i've loved it it is beautiful because it's it really is like a gold that that glimmers and shimmers and does not lose you know it's not too transparent and that's usually what you need in a gold as um the schmincke gold that i just got in my new um kit in my new wood box set is very opaque. It's a beautiful gold, but it's very opaque. This is not, this is very, very strong. So let's just go ahead and start, um, digging into this. So they wet really quickly, right? This is a squirrel brush that I got with the Schmincke 48 box set. And I love it. It's really fun to use. It holds a ton of water though. So for swatching, it's actually good. So I'm just going to put a nice dollop of color there and 
we're going to go ahead and let it down and get some different shades of this so we can see it. So you can see how brilliant it is. The second one is carmine. So there are no um, pigment information things. There's, there's nothing. There's just the number and the name. And that's fine. It's a $20 set. I mean, seriously. But as far as like colors that are, are absolutely stunning and will these do the trick? Yeah, these will absolutely do the job. I think they're great. I think if you don't, if you want to try out watercolor and you don't know if you really love it yet, this is a great way to start. I mean, for instance, look at this carmine and this red. So the crimson, it's just as beautiful as this W511 um, by, by uh, Mission Gold. It's just as beautiful, just as brilliant. It also is very close to the bright red by Sennelier. Does it have the same qualities? I mean, Sennelier is made with honey, right? So it's kind of smoother and it's really fun to watch. It's not going to be, it's not going to be the same, you know, like, let me get you a little bit of the Sennelier. Okay, so the Sennelier bright red. let's just put it below so you can see it's brighter and yeah it's brighter a little bit more intense in the red and this one dries a little more tomatoey, so maybe it might be more similar to the Cad Red Light by Schmincke. You know what I mean? But as far as like a starter set, hello, look at how close these are. <laughs> They're so close. All right, let's go on to the next one. Charisse. Charisse is a gorgeous like purpley pink, and look at how brilliant it is. It's incredible incredibly brilliant. I'm just kind of wetting it down just to give us the different shades here of the color. Look at how beautiful that is. That's just great. So this would be I mean, I can't even imagine a time when you wouldn't have fun with this set. Just in the arrangement, the amount of colors that it has, it's crazy. Yeah, this is a really fun set to do. Okay, so the purple, it the minute I wet my brush, it just goes. So it doesn't do like a pastel very, very well. You kind of have to feed it a little bit it either wants to go like really really strong or very super super light but that's okay the strength of it is beautiful um what is this hi Hy hyacinth <laughs> violet hyacinth violet h-y-a-c-i-n-t-h violet I mean, to me, it looks like Quinn Magenta or Red Violet, like Red Violet by Mission Gold. It kind of looks like that. I'm sure that these are very, very similar to Mission Gold paints, but they're literally $20 paints. It's crazy. I think this is the best deal going. And that's why when you guys ask me about these paints, they're so underrated and yet the vibrancy is incredible and they are very, very easy to paint with. So yeah, you could have a ball with these paints. You could have so much fun with them. Red ochre. 
this is a neat color. Red ochre. That's interesting, right? Here's the colors so far. Look at them. Tell me those aren't really brilliant. So that's the Sennelier, not too far off, right? It's not, you can, you can feel the difference in the paint, but for if you were just beginning and you don't want to invest a lot of money in, in the fine artist watercolors and you just want to, you know, get your feet wet and start playing, I actually think this is a great set. It really is. And you take the pans out and put them in other um, smaller tins, yellow ochre. It's got the same kind of opacity of um, the Sennelier yellow ochre and also the Daniel Smith version. Smooth paint though, smooth and consistent. So far, everything's been pretty consistent. Gamboge, everybody likes a little gamboge, huh? The gamboge is a little bit harder to rewet. Oh, no, not that bad. Oh, very fluorescent-y. It's really bright. Pretty. So I think I have Gamboge in the set, too. Yeah, I have New Gamboge by Daniel Smith. Okay, so the Daniel Smith one is certainly not as fluorescent. This one's really fluorescent. Yeah, totally different than the Daniel Smith one. So the beautiful gamboge color is not coming out in this one, but that's not a big deal. I mean, this is the, the traditional gamboge. It's a beautiful kind of like sunflower yellow, and this one's a lot more orange. So there's one major difference, but big deal. <laughs> this is $20 paint. <laughs> the orange is really nice. It's just, just a orange. Nice and bright easy to paint with. Yeah, I can't see again any problem with these colors. So what would this orange be close to? Kind of like a Golden Deep by White Knights. The 217 is very close, except a little more clear in color, not as, not as uh, opaque. Or maybe a Chromium Orange by Schmincke 214, be close to that. It's very transparent, beautiful actually, you know. So this is brilliant yellow. So what would this brilliant yellow be close to? I feel like this is more like a chromium yellow. Or like a cadmium yellow, because it's got a little bit of warmth to it. It's not, it could be close to a Hansa yellow. Um, it is almost a lemon, but it's not. The lemon is definitely marked lemon. And the lemon in this set, you have to wet it a little bit more and get a lot on your brush. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's, it's incredible. And it's right. It's a, it's a lemon. It's not as beautiful as the Sennelier lemon 501. Um, it's definitely not as, as smooth as the Schmincke lemon 215. I would say it's a little cooler than the Mission Gold W521. Mm-hmm but beautiful lemon yellow. That'll work. Grass green. Oh, that's cool. That looks like um, one of the colors that I just swatched and I had never used this color before. That's really pretty. So they don't, they do travel, but they don't travel a lot. Like, 
as we go through here and it, we're going to see how they dry too. Like the violet is drying in a weird way. It's kind of like dispersing out if you dilute it, but if you use it in full strength, this is where you're seeing the $20, the difference between the good paint and the $20 paint. So this is, here's where, here's where we might really strike a complete difference in the paint. It's in the drying. When it dries, it's so easy to paint with, but when it dries, it kind of looks like the paint is edging a little bit on the edges. So when I add water to it, it definitely comes down really fast. And then when it dries, it leaves an edge around, uh, which is really common with very cheap student grade paints. But considering that this is non-toxic paint, that is something to consider. Because uh, you're not always going to be able to get your paint sets out with your children around or dogs, you know, there are times when you really want to have some nice sets around, but that are non-toxic. So this is still a good set for that to mess with and to play with. If you're, again, if you're just starting with watercolor or you have um, a teenager or a young child that maybe you want to, you know, take a look at, look and see, double check that, that every paint in this set is non-toxic, but this might be a great way to get started. So the only thing I'm really glad that we found out about this that um, I might not have remembered was around the very edge. So as we're drying, you can see it, it's more apparent here in the violet. It actually leaves almost like a watermark look, right? But here's the Sennelier one, and when I watered this one down, it's leaving that too. So, hmm, not really, not really different, right? And here, and this could be the paper too. Here, it's definitely leaving it in the fuller strength. Um, but again, Sennelier left it too. It could be the paper. So that's still not really a complaint that's valid. This turquoise is beautiful. This turquoise looks a lot like the phalo turquoise. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. I'm just going to say beautiful behind like after every single swatch. So if you notice, I'm, I'm re-wetting. Doesn't take much. Ultramarine doesn't come off really fast in the depth of color. It should, it should give me a little bit more color. Is it granulating? I don't know. There we go starting now. Beautiful color though. It's really nice. Next is the Azurite Blue which looks a little bit like Schmincke Mountain Blue, or let's see what it looks like. Let's get a little more paint. It looks like a, uh, let's see how it does with the lighter shade. The very, very light shades, it's just, you can't even see it. Um, this one could look a little bit like Helio Cerulean by Schmincke. Depends on how it dries. Maybe Mission Gold he like Cerulean. There isn't a Cerulean in this set, so this would be the closest to Cerulean that I would see. A deep blue. So this is kind of like a Prussian. strong one there. Let's rinse it out. Rinse it out a little bit more. I'm doing this very, very quickly. I mean, if I really wanted to like do strengths, we would need a ceramic palette, but I'm sure on this set, you don't need me to, 
to do professional watercolor reviews and strings. <laughs> the brown is yucky. I don't like the brown at all, but I don't like most most browns. I'm trying to think of what this one reminds me of. I mean, I guess it's fine, but I don't really like this brown at all. I don't even have browns in this palette. Actually, this one looks yeah, it's not even like a burnt umber. It's just a, a nothing brown. I don't like it. Burnt Sienna. First wet is a little bit weak for Burnt Sienna. It's doing okay. It's not at all what you guys are used to in, in burnt sienna that's for sure if you're if you're um, painting with really nice fine watercolors but it's a decent burnt sienna burnt umber is kind of like a sepia very muddy though I would be, and it's quite opaque, so I would be kind of really careful about mixing those with anything because they don't have transparency. Payne's Gray. Interesting. Hmm, it's got a nice color to it. And it does some decent washes. That's kind of nice. We should do a wash test. Regular gray. Why they have this, I have no idea, but I guess this is a big convenience color. So this is kind of like their version of neutral tint, I would think. Which would be interesting to see if the light fast rating, when they say it's a good light fast rating, I wonder if this is good as in it won't fade or good as in it's a three or a two, I don't know. Uh, deep black. Oh, that is definitely a black. Interesting. That has a very inky quality to it. That's that's pretty cool. That's a nice black. So that's that's a very very good quality black. I need to clean my paints. Oh, I can't believe I didn't dirty my white. So the white, it's a nice opaque white. That'll make some decent, um, some decent pastels for sure. Let's see what this does with, um, with the blue, the ultramarine. Yeah, it makes a nice pastel. Let's see what it does. So I can actually split my paint. Um, you know what, while we're here too, let's see about a wash so we're just gonna take this little area here I'm gonna take a bunch of the ultramarine which usually does a great wash and we're just gonna go like this add a little water and we'll see we'll leave it Let's see that wash test how that goes Um, so now we're into the fluorescence neon pink. This is going to be fun because these are actually funny. Now they tend to be a little streaky, um, but they're fluorescence, you know? So literally what you can do with them is, you know, you can put them into other colors and they'll do funny, funny things, which are really great. Now I would imagine that the fluorescents are not light fast. I don't know why. Well, of course, you know, they're not, they're probably, 
maybe on their website would have more information as far as if these are going to fade over time, I would have to say absolutely yes. These are just fun paints. You wouldn't want to sell anything in these paints. Oh my gosh, that is just crazy. That's so bright. Um, I have used this neon red though. I have used it uh, to get brighter poppy colors, but I have never sold it. I have um, something I've painted with glazes of the neon red over another color and it's still hanging in there it's fine but what it does do is it the fluorescence glow under black light so if you want something to make your paintings glow under black light these will do it they definitely will they'll make your paintings glow light fast i would have to believe no I would have to say that there's no way that this is going to be light fast. Not these neons. They, they just look like they would just dilute in the sunshine so quickly, you know, but it is a very, very fun thing to have on your set. And again, a $20 paint set to practice with that moves pretty well. This is, this will get you started. Would I, would I choose to paint with these? I would paint with these, but I don't have to paint with these because I have um, professional watercolors because I'm a professional artist. So no, I wouldn't go back and paint with these. But um, if I were just getting started or I had a child that, you know, I didn't want to take the chance of them putting watercolor in their mouths or a dog that tends to break into my stuff all the time. If I were selling paint uh, paintings, no, I definitely wouldn't use these. Are they going to work against you? I don't know. I think there's something to be said. Um, the metallics are really good though. About investing in your watercolors when you can, you know. Don't invest if you can't afford it. But if you can't afford it, get the best paints you can afford because they will never, never disappoint you and do you wrong. It's pretty cool. So guys, I'm going to give away this set to one of my lucky group members. So if you've stuck around for this um, sampling, definitely go to the group page and um, enter to win this paint set because I'm going to send this exact one, this one that I opened. I don't need it for anything. You may as well get a new paint set to try and play with. Now let me swatch these metallic bronze. So you can see there's a lot of transparency in this color early on, but if you rub on it and you let some of the water out of it, it will give you a very opaque and very bright metallic that you can use over your um, your paintings to add this beautiful metallic without having to go to like an acrylic metallic which a lot of times I'll use some acrylic um, you know if I want these golds or something over Metallic yellow is a really, really pretty color. It just, you really have to work on it to get it. But this makes a really nice glaze over something to add that brightness. All right, we're almost done. Let me just swatch this one for you. This is the metallic gold. So you can see Rewetting is not a big deal, but to get the the opaqueness of the gold, you just want to scrub at it a little bit until the water is partially gone so that you can get that that really nice opaque gold, see? And then you have something that will layer over another color and give you that real shine. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Well, in this way, right now, it is showing me kind of like the gold qualities of the Schmincke one. But I haven't sat there and layered the Schmincke one over yet. So I don't have enough time in with that one to tell you whether or not it's um, it's going to perform really good. The metal purple, it's going to take a little more activity here to get it to get the metals so but once you get the metals on your brush and you dig up enough of the paint out of the pan you really do see the the beauty of the metals they're really pretty and they're fun to paint with so it's still a really, really fun set. I mean, look, I don't really know any other set that has a palette like this um, where it's just all in one piece. It's pretty light. It dries quick. You can bring it with you. It re-wets quick. It's a really nice quality thing. It's not going to leak. So there's like so many benefits to having this with you. I mean, wherever you are, it certainly will, will be an exciting sketching kit with all these colors, you know? This green's really pretty. It's like iridescent. I'm going to show you a close-up of these in just a second. That's really pretty. It needs a lot, a lot more wetting though. Um, two left. So we got metallic blue. Again, I remember the first time I got this set, I had so much fun with it. I mean, I painted so many really unique things with it and I can't remember how I came about getting one of these I think it was because I I just wanted to try the metallics um, and just kind of like have something that was fun that I could just sit on my lap and I like the idea of putting a great big yeah that's right I like the size of it I cut out watercolor paper and I would put it in here in sheets and I would be able to just paint right on the palette so for that alone I mean, for $20, you could literally transform this into a palette that you could use for anything. And you can paint right on it. So it would be a great um, kit to have in your backpack and take with you. Maybe just switch out the colors that you don't like for colors that are better quality as you go along, you know. The silver is a lot like the Schmincke silver. I doubt that it has a light fast but yeah, it's very similar to the Schmincke Silver that's in the case. It works. It definitely will paint over things, you know, so you can add the silver over things. You can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so let's get a closer swatch. Let's do this one first. So here are the color swatches. You can get a better look at them. The metallics are at the bottom, and then we've got the neon range, some of the earthier tones. This gray is like a neutral tint. It doesn't really, I wouldn't use it. The, the Payne's gray is a nice color. These ones don't really matter. These are decent. Uh, this paper is not going to really like give you the brilliance of color as it should. So let's take a look. The Gamboge definitely isn't the right color match for what Gamboge should be. Gamboge is this one. This is what they deliver as Gamboge. The red ochre, I don't even know what that's doing there because that's just not a really good quality color. The brilliant green is really nice. Um, the deep blue is a really nice color. The azurite blue is really nice. The ultramarine is really bright and pretty. The orange is pretty solid. The two yellows are great. Um, the violet, I don't know. The violet almost looks like it's splitting off, but the Charisse is really beautiful. And this violet is high, hyacinth. God, that's going to drive me crazy. That's a decent color. This is a really pretty too. The carmine's really pretty. Um, so there's some decent colors in here you know the green grass I could use that that's great the olive green nope that's definitely a wash but this one's a good one this turquoise that's a very that's very close to helio turquoise um 
maybe like thalo turquoise. Yeah, but like you can see the fine grade watercolors, the depth that they have. Now here's the ultramarine compared to ultramarines, you know, so it's a, it's much lighter, right? Much, much lighter. Ultramarine finest. So there are qualities in the fine watercolors that you will not find in here. But with that being said, it's a $20 set. And the tin, I feel like that's great to have for travel and to be able to use. I think that's really cool. Um, as far as me, I know I'm not, I have way too many watercolors to use this set. So let's clean it up. And if you'd like to win this set, leave me a comment below then go join our group page and I will um, show you how you can enter to win the set. We do painting challenges in the group and it's really fun because we have a really good time. And I love, I love our group because they are so, so supportive of each other. I don't want to dirty this paint. so. I'm just kind of cleaning it up because I splashed a bit when I was doing this and I don't want to send it to you a mess. So what do you think? Would you use it? Would you uh, just invest in regular professional grade watercolor? Do you think this looks like what they claim? Like they claim it's professional grade. Or artist grade do you think it looks like artist quality I I personally think it looks like student grade paint I don't think it looks like professional grade paint I think it would be maybe better than a Winsor Newton like if I got out the Winsor Newton um, Cotman series it's about like this you know and they are made in China by the way so once Winsor Newton sold they sold to a company out of China so they make Winsor Newton there and I feel like, with the exception of the indigo, I don't really love the Winsor Newton um, student grade paints that much anymore. And I feel like they're really expensive. So I would sooner see, if you're going to get student grade paint, get something non-toxic and something like this that you can just have fun with and not worry about. Um, but if you really want to learn how to paint watercolor, you should still probably go with the more expensive set. But again, don't invest like hundreds of dollars. You're going to need hundreds of dollars in order to get these sets. You'd be better off either getting something like this or getting just three or four basic colors, you know, get a set of warms, a set of cools. So you would get a set of like a yellow, a blue and a red in warm and cool, and then mix your own colors and become a really good colorist before you get into all of these convenient colors and trying all the different you know, the different ranges and things that are available. Yeah, so that's my review of the Kamaribi set. Kamaribi set. Overall, I think it's great paint, but it's definitely not professional grade. As they said, it's definitely not artist quality. It is student quality paint. I would say even for very young students. Um, and no, I don't think that if you're going to be a professional watercolorist I would start with more expensive paint but I do like the tin I do like the presentation I do like some of the colors a lot would I do I like them enough to give up my no way <laughs> no way but if anybody wants to win this set and you think that you could get some use out of it or you have a teenager or you know a student that um you are worried that they might eat paint and you want them to have a non-toxic, you know, fun kit, then you can come in with this kit, you know, even just to use the metallics, which are really, really fun to use in projects. Yeah. So come over and you can win the kit in the, um, group page guys. All right. More to come. Lots and lots of paint coming in to uh from jackson's actually so get ready for lots of reviews i'll talk to you guys later happy painting <laughs>